possibility. So if we warm up the atmosphere, that will then warm up the oceans. The gas hydrates can be destabilized because they are they're depending on either high hydrostatic pressure or low temperatures to exist. And if they start to melt, um, what's happening to those communities? And actually, they, these communities will play a very important role for the methane emissions because the microbes that live in the sediment, they feed on the methane. And so what we are thinking is that once the gas hydrates start to dissociate, that in the sediment, the microbes will eat large parts of the methane before it can enter the water and before it can then enter the atmosphere. And um, so probably there will be more of these communities established once the hydrates are melting. And um, even if some methane passes this, let's say, seafloor community, then there are other microbial communities living in the water column. They can also eat on the methane. And so they will be important key players in reducing the methane emissions. But one thing that uh, we, are, we biologists are concerned about is that those microbes that live in the water column, they, uh, when they eat the methane, they consume oxygen at the same time, and they produce CO2. And when they consume oxygen, that means they could deplete the concentration of oxygen in the water column, and that could be bad for other organisms. So fish, for example, they need a lot of oxygen. And when there is less oxygen, that could cause maybe, yeah, that could decrease their ecosystem where they can live. So they have maybe moved to other places where there's more oxygen. And um, the thing with the CO2 that the microorganisms are producing is that when you dissolve CO2 in water, um, it's decreasing the pH. So it's getting more acidic in the water. And um, that can be a problem to organisms that build up calcareous um, parts in their body. And so um, we speak of ocean acidification in that case. And um, so if we have vigorous methane releases into the water column that is then degraded by organisms, we wonder whether there could be an increase in ocean acidification in that environment.